All right, y'all, so Bitcoin is currently getting this pump. What I want to do is I want to reverse engineer a trade that I took. This is the trade that I am currently in right now for Bitcoin, up over 100% in profits right now. As you can see, I was in the trade for quite some time before we got the pump. In fact, I entered the trade probably in one of these two candles right here. Um, when I saw that we came below this low and started to pump back to the upside, I want to talk about why I entered the trade. I want to talk about why I stayed in the trade even though for one, two, three, four, five, six hours, this thing was struggling to get any kind of move to the upside. Now, first of all, this is a trade setup I gave in advance in the VIP Discord two days ago on the 14th of January. Today is currently the 18th, so I guess that was more than two days ago now. That was four days ago, and we were looking for price to come down to this very important level. This was a golden pocket Fibonacci retracement level. And we want to see bullish divergences on the 12 minute time frame. Now, I've already taken profit one out of this trade, so I can just relax. My stop loss is currently somewhere right over here right now. So if it gets stopped out during this video, that is okay. But I want to talk about why I stayed in the trade, why I was expecting more movement to the upside. Now, first of all, when we go to the 12 minute time frame, well, before I go to the 12 minute time frame, let's take a look at the higher term time frames here and kind of see what is happening. Okay, what is happening here? We can see that we came in and we put in this very, very significant low at about 39.6 back on the 10th of January. And from that low to the high that we put in at about 44.4, we can see that the Fibonacci retracement golden pocket is exactly where we're at right now. And if we go down to maybe the one hour time frame we can see that we did come down to that golden pocket. So right away, I know that this is a very important level of support. And I've been saying in my videos for a few days now that one of the bullish scenarios I'm looking for to potentially see Bitcoin um, reverse market structure for a potential relief rally is to put in a higher low from where we put in right here. Because if this is a bottom, then I would want to see us put in a higher low in one of the best places to put in that higher low would be the Fibonacci golden pocket level. Now, this could be a higher low. This could just be a, a lower high. Uh, actually, locally here, we have put in a higher high, but this could be a lower high where we put in a high here and a low and then a lower high and then a lower low and then a lower high and then even a lower low. But because I had the plan that we could potentially get a reversal here, I said, if we come down to this level, I am going to long if I see my confirmations. And the confirmations I was specifically looking for were bullish divergences on the 12 minute time frame. We come down to the 12 minute time frame. And what do we see as we're coming to that support? We can very, very clearly see right here that as we are coming down this entire way here, pretty much from this point to this point, if I draw my trend line, zoom. We can see that overall we are getting momentum coming up right here. And we're also getting money flow coming up, which I think is very, very important. When you're coming down to an area of support and you see momentum and money flow coming up on market cipher B while the price is putting in lower lows to a crucial level of support, it becomes highly probable that we are going to get a move to the upside. Another great example of that is this little pump that we got yesterday yesterday this long trade that i took right here we also were getting bullish divergences on the 12 minute time frame as we came down to a key level of support yesterday so yesterday i actually did give that uh, trade setup live on youtube in fact if we come over here we can see uh, right here yesterday during the vip live stream that i do every week for bitcoin i actually gave the setup in real time because of the confirmations we were getting. And so I was confident to hold the trade. We did end up getting a massive pump from there. Okay, so when we're getting these, and by the way, we had a very important level of support right here on the chart. So we came to the support, we got our bullish divergences, we got the pump. Now again, we come to the golden pocket, bullish divergences, we got our pump. Now I want to note, I want to bring out something else here. It's not just the momentum waves, it's also the money flow. If we take a look at the money flow, even on like the 24 minute time frame, we can see it's getting higher over time, the 15 minute time frame. We can see if we take off everything here, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my market cipher B settings and take off the light blue, waves, the VWAP, 
the buy, the sell, all that stuff, even the RSIs. And let's just look at the money flow. When you see the money flow is getting thinner as the price is getting lower, this is showing us that there's an imbalance. Money is coming into the asset, and yet the price continues to fall. How can that be? It can't stay that way forever. There has to be some kind of a correction. And so whenever we get these random pumps like that, you can usually tell before they happen that we're getting bullish signs on market cipher, and the price continues to get lower. When it happens at crucial support, I am comfortable holding my long trade open here, even though we're chopping sideways, because I see the money flow getting higher. Even on the one minute time frame, we can take a look and look at this, guys. Look at the money flow on the one minute time frame. Even before we start to really, really pump, we can see the purple money flow is getting thinner and the blue money flow is getting thicker, right? This is telling us that there needs to be some kind of an explosion to the upside. And that's exactly what we got. So this is why I'm comfortable holding a trade, even if things are choppy and sideways. And the thing about having a trading plan is, if you have a plan, you have to stick to it so long as your plan is actually showing your confirmations. If I had not had the bullish signs on market cipher like I was looking for, I would not have stayed in the trade. I'm not going to fool myself. But because we have those bullish signs, I am going to stay in the trade. And I'm thankful I did. The same exact thing is true with the Ethereum long that I am currently in right now. So the Ethereum long, also from the golden pocket, this trade is uh, lower leverage, so it's only up about 50% in profit right now. But the same exact thing. When we come down to the 12-minute time frame for Ethereum, we can see as we're coming down to the golden pocket, we so, so clearly see the bullish divergences on the 12-minute time frame. When we take a look at the money flow on the 12-minute time frame, the Ethereum looked even more bullish than the Bitcoin um, money flow. Check out the money flow on the 12 minute time frame as we are putting in lower lows into a golden pocket support money flow on the 12 minute time frame is getting higher as well. And of course, that Ethereum trade setup is a scalp trade that um, we posted earlier um, from the, basically there were two potential longs I was looking to take today, one of them from the golden pocket. We did, in fact, get the bounce from the 618, but I was actually looking for us to come lower. I said, if we come lower, I will re-enter as long as Market Cipher B still looks bullish. We did. We came lower, right down to the 0.65. Boom, got the move to the upside. So I just kind of wanted to reverse engineer why I stayed in these trades, why I took these trades, why I was comfortable holding these trades, even though for six hours, we didn't really see much price movement. So I hope this helps somebody. If it did, make sure to like the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And I will see y'all in the next video. God bless. Peace.